NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live final round coverage of the Arnold Palmer Invitational. We're at one of the premier stops on the PGA Tour in Orlando, Florida. It's the Bay Hill Club and Lodge, the house that Arnold Palmer built. Rich Loader alongside Frank Nabilo for Golf Channel and EA Sports. And Bay Hill, of course, uh, the Arnold Palmer Invitational has been really the staple in the Florida swing on the PGA Tour. We're here at the 15th now and a big dog leg right on this one. Frank, what's the best route to take to shoot the low number? You've got to look at that run out down the left side, which is about 320 yards. Um, if you can stay short of that, then that gives you a perfect shot into this green. Grab the fire extinguisher. Put out the, that ball is on fire. It's melting going through the air. Frank, what are you looking to do with this approach shot here at 15? Anytime the flag's on the front, uh, Rich, it's basically green light special. When the flag starts to get pushed towards that back area of that green, it starts to get narrower and narrower and narrower. And that's where you've got to be a little careful. Seems to like it. Looks like it's headed for the green. Well, he's going for back to back birdies here, trying to jump start this round. Some momentum moving in the right direction. And he has it for birdie. The Bay Hill Club and Lodge features a really exciting finishing stretch. 16 is a reachable par 5. You'll see eagles and birdies there coming home. 17, a very difficult par 3 over the water. The bunker is there. He takes an excellent shot. And that 18 is all you want. We know that with the water in front, that second shot which comes over the lake, and that's a hold your breath moment. It is a great finishing three hole stretch at Bay Hill. Mmm, what a drive. Just tattooed that. Well, with a good shot here, Rich, uh, this eagle on the cards, hole very reachable from where he is. Don't get many opportunities like this. This is a good place to take advantage. Not a huge miss, Frank, but did lose this just a little to the right. Yeah, it looks like it's going to catch a piece of the green, though. Our computer gives us uh, 23 feet, Rich. This is a 23-foot putt. Good-looking putt, just not falling right now. Well, sadly, he's going to be disappointed. He has this or a birdie. Sneaks that in. We're now tied. Always like this par three, Frank, par three 17. Let me amend that. I like watching the best in the world play it because it can be daunting, especially with the pressure ratcheted up. When they have the tournament on, this green is brick hard. Um, a little bit downhill, that's about the only advantage you get. Oh, this is straight at it. It's a really good line. Chance for birdie after that beautiful shot. And it's a long way to the hole from here. Never easy. On the 
away. And he has it, Frank. I don't believe it. You know, Tiger was born on the same day as LeBron James, December 30th. And, and he's had his share of slam dunks, especially on the 18th hole here at Bay Hill. Yeah, he's just a perfect fit for the golf course. Um, you'd think every now and again he fares left, but he doesn't fare left at Bay Hill. Uh, we, we've seen his best golf over the years, over the last 15 or so years. To win there eight times, nobody's come close to that. Ernie Els, one of the great players in the world, has won it twice. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Seems to like it. Handed for the fat part of the green. Good chance now for a birdie. That was an outstanding play. Well, it's almost a guarantee there after that shot. To win the Arnold Palmer Invitational. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. What a great tournament finish. This one is in the books, and look who finished on top of the leaderboard. Rich, this has to go down as a classic. Our champion was simply on fire, and I'm looking forward now to see how next week pans out.